everybody. This is Simon Sage from Android Central. Uh, we are checking out Reach and Clear by uh, Gun. Uh, we've got Ronnie here who's going to walk us through. How's it going, Ronnie? Good, thanks, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, so, my pleasure. Right away, Reach and Clear is a hybrid tactical strategy game. We say hybrid because it's sort of a mixture between real time and turn based. So, like any military shooter, we love the intense action. And what we didn't want to happen was you walk next to your guy, he shoots you, and then you go. It wasn't very realistic. So, as I walk you through this, you'll see that the planning stages happen, the time stopped. And then when you hit breach, action unfolds in real time. So, what I'm about to show you here is you have two maps to choose from. I'm going to take you to Afghanistan, the office complex. We'll have four environments to launch. We'll have Turkey, as you can see, Afghanistan, the German Black Forest, and a cargo ship out on the sea, so at nighttime, raining, pretty slick. So, I'm taking you to Afghanistan. What I'm going to do, we have the Navy SEALs and JTF-2. Not here today is also the Army Rangers and the Army Special Forces. These are highly detailed based on real life versions. Whatever gear they have in real life is what they wear in our game. We went to great extent to make sure that was true so that all military fans would know the difference if they, if they knew. Casual players won't know, but you know they don't know what they're missing. So We're going to rub a JTF-2 because they're maxed out in this build. They're at 100, whereas the Navy SEALs are at 50. Okay. We just want to show you the separation. So this represents the best team you could get. They have the best gear. They have suppressors. So, right away you notice this level is fairly large. It's really big. Room B here is a center fed room, so it's very dangerous. When I come in that door, I'm not safe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in B because I know what I'm doing, but most players may want to go to A. It's a small room. It's corner fed. The chance of survival is really high once you get there. So, I can split my team up, two in each door. I can send three to B, one to A. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap the room. I I tap B and then I simply tap the faces of the guys that I want to go to B. So I tap B, as you can see, it highlights that by their name. I back out. Sorry. And then I hit A and tap the other guy. So once I'm done, I hit breach. This is going to set my team up outside the appropriate doors based on what I told them to do. Sure. This is the planning stage. Top right corner, you see all four of your soldiers. Sorry. And to the left of that is what that soldier can do. Movement is automatically highlighted, which is why you see tiles here. So those tiles represent where that individual soldier can go. That's based on his speed skill. So as I level up his speed skill, he can move farther. So Ruaz here, I'm just going to highlight where I want him to go. I can move the camera in and out. Two finger zooms. You can see the detail of our soldiers. All their awesome gear. Oh, very cool. Yep, they're highly detailed. They're wearing their real life stuff. All that's 100% customizable if you unlocked it. So I can also hit the camera, switch between top down and three quarters. So people like to plan in top down and play in three quarters. So sure. Ruiz, I'm just going to send him right to cover. I tap the tile I want to go to. As you can see, half cover popped up. And here's our vision cone. With my finger, I rotate the vision cone. That represents my final vision point. So any enemy that comes within that vision cone, I'm gonna have an advantage over. But what I don't have an advantage over right now is an enemy who may be hiding over here. Mm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tap the line, set another vision cone, and look to the left real quick. So I can cover anything that happens to the left. Now. I move to the next guy, so we tap his face over here. I'm going to send him to the right. So, I'm going to send him to cover, set my waypoint, select my vision cone, and then along the way, I'm going to make sure I'm looking... Oops, dude. I'm going to make sure I'm looking right. So, I got those two directions pretty covered. So, the third guy, I'm going to send right here, straight on, fight anyone. So, it's all about covering your corners and properly looking the right direction. So, there we go. I'm going to move to Lane, the next guy. He's over here in a small room. He may run into a guy, but he's probably safe. I'll back out, get a good camera. And then we're going to hit breach. And I'm probably going to live. So, so as you can see, I came in. Because I was looking right, I killed that enemy on the right. Oh, hey, it's yeah. also an enemy straight, so no casualties. I didn't even take a shot. 
However, Lane is over here by himself. He killed one enemy. There's another one who doesn't know I'm there yet. My suppressed weapons likely gave me that advantage. Mm. I don't even think that enemy got a, a gunshot away to alert his friends. So right now, the enemy's planning while we are. Mm. So this is where you have to figure out what the enemy's gonna do based on room layouts and doors. You don't know. So he may rush at lane. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send a bum rushing from behind and hope that I get him. If he sure. turns around and try to get me, we'll be a head-to-head -head firefight. So right, we'll see. I'll zoom in on lane. I can I could like go here and you can do it lane. Uh, I can make him hold if I want it, but I'm gonna along the way make sure I'm looking in the right direction. And I think I'm pretty confident he'll win. For these guys, this room's clear. Yeah. I have three doors up here to choose from now. I can't get to the second door because of the counter, but I can certainly go here and there. Or I can send someone to help Lane, but sure. he's pretty confident. So I'm going to send Ruiz up here, but I can't get to the door. So I'm going to stop short, right? I'm going to take cover at this countertop look at that doorway to make sure if any enemies run out of there, I got it covered. Right. So, Hunt is next. He can actually get to this door, so that's pretty awesome. To look at a door and to open it, you stand to the left or right of it. If you stand in the front of the door and open it, you're dead beat. Yeah. Right? No one would ever do that. So, if you just simply look at the door, he will automatically open it and then lean in and shoot anyone he sees. Nice. So, we got Wayne here. These names are all random. So, sure. and they can also be created by your friends list on your Facebook. So oh, you pull cool. your friends in. It gives them updates on how crappy they did or how well <laughs> they did, right? So that's awesome. Wayne is gonna actually go up here and take cover because I can't safely get him to a door right now. So, but if you notice, I'm gonna do a little trick here. Wang is right here. Once Hunt opens that door, if there's an enemy right here. He can actually shoot me mm. through line of sight of that door. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping he does just so I can show you, but I don't even sure. know what the enemy is. All right. so it's all random, so we'll see how it plays out. Oh. Somehow we ran into each other. Time stopped. No right. enemy, so we're safe. The enemy is actually hiding right here. Oh yeah. Do we have any kind of like a long-term progress on each of the guys in your squad? Or like yes. do they level up or earn abilities? Yes, actually, each of these is a separate class. So Ruiz right now, he's a breacher. Hunt, I believe, is a fire team leader. We have a weapon sergeant. We have a medic. We also have an intelligence guy and a direct action. We have six classes. Each one of those has their own unique tactic that they start out with. For instance, if you look at Ruiz, his tactic is the throw and go. He can throw a grenade and move in the same turn. The other guys, if they throw a grenade, they have to they have to burn a turn doing that. So the fire team leader, he has morale boost. He simply talks to the headset and it gives your guys a slight stat boost for one round. Mm. So as you level your guys up, they can go from level one to thirty. They unlock perks along that path, just like in Fallout in games that have perks. Those perks give you passive stat boost or make that tactic better. But when you get to level thirty, those, you, choose, you choose between two perks that are so good, it gives you another in-game tactic. So at level 30, you have another tactic, which goes in that blank spot there. Nice. And each of the guys has four individual stats that you level up. So health, speed, awareness, reaction time, things like that. So every round, you get XP. You're leveling your dudes up individually. So yes, there's a deep progressive system for the people that want that kind of thing. So. Very cool. So uh, wh when is this coming out, and uh, on which platforms? Um, this is iOS and Android. Okay. So, phones and tablets for right now. We're uh, talking about other platforms, obviously, once we get this perfected. Sure. However, we're probably in alpha right now, a mix between alpha and beta. So we got probably got about two months left. Okay. Ultimately, we don't have a deadline. So we're going to release it when we think it's perfect. Sure. Right away, we're going to have four environments to launch. I think I told you that. We have 16 missions. Cool. Four playable squads with a lot more coming in the future. So we have like over 40 guns, real life guns, hundreds of pieces of equipment that you can add to your gun, vests, camos, all that. We have an instant replay. So when you're done, you upload it to YouTube and Facebook to replay. Oh, nice. And because your friends were created using Facebook, it'll tag them in the video. Oh, nice. So we've thought of a lot of cool things that we can do here with Richie Clear. So. That's very cool. Do you have a price point at all yet? or? It's actually a free-to-play game. Oh, wow. But we're not going to nickel and dime you typically free-to-play. So there'll be no pay gates. 
We're not going to charge you to fix your rusted gun, so to speak. Sure. We're not going to make you buy a frag grenade. You know, we're more interested in selling map packs and new squads as DLC. Sure. And if we do sell a premium weapon, it's not going to give you an advantage over someone else. They can grind and get that same weapon. So in our game, you can't buy an advantage. You can't pay to win. Nothing you do can give you an advantage over someone else if we, do, if we have future multiplayer. So. Cool. Yep. Well, looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Ronnie. Thanks. Appreciate it. Jerry here from Android Central. If your wife won't let you run around naked, grab a kick-ass t-shirt from shopandroid.com.